many people had this uh, thought that a steam cylinder would not be able to perform as well as a proper factory cylinder. So uh, you guys will watch a video on how this engine performs soon. Let's do uh, 0 to 60 now. So hope you guys saw the 0 to 60 timings there. To be honest, of course there are you know better, faster performing builds, uh, you know much faster builds than what I have uh, accomplished here, and I have no doubt about it. But this is just showcasing how uh, good sleeved cylinders are if it is done properly, uh, considering the fact that people spend so much money into uh, unsleeved cylinders or cylinders still on their factory sleeve. So that's a lot of money, unfortunately. Uh, in these days and the uh, market rates are uh, exorbitant so compared to that i think uh, this is awesome i mean the performance is amazing yeah so when it comes to fuel efficiency i'm getting anywhere between uh, 25 to 28 kilometers to a liter of petrol maximum and if i rip it i get uh, about 22 to 23 kilometers to the liter of petrol so for context this is running a sleeved ported block that is done by my dear friend Darshan at Powerband Customs and I think he's done an amazing job. The port maps are closer to an RX King even though if, if it's not uh, exactly blueprinted as an RX King it's close enough to an RX King but also being rideable inside the city. So that's why the terrific performance. Uh, we are running Shell V Power Fuel uh, for best results. I think it's uh, same octane, 92 octane while also having uh, some additives that help in keeping things clear that and uh, we are running a 1537 sprocketing there's a 15 teeth at the front and 37 teeth at the back that's the sprocketing so it's a rather shortly sprocketed motorcycle that's why that's you don't see a lot of top end there we are doing uh, 110 kilometers per hour that's uh, at the very top end uh, close enough to i think doing 8500 rpm i guess and 9000 rpm is pretty much the red line for this motorcycle i don't think it can really pull uh, push much harder on the stock setup and uh, I'm running a VM26, that's an RX King carburetor, the stock out of the box factory Yamaha original carburetor, that and an RX King uh, magnet and coil plate. So these things are like uh, very standard and I think you guys can get them pretty easily here in India right now. And it's a drop in upgrade on your uh, uh, RX 100 or 135 or whatever. It's a plug and play unit, so it's very easy for you guys to get the same kind of performance that I'm enjoying right now. So that is there. And I'm also running an expansion chamber. I did find that the motorcycle <laughs> not performing that great with the stock exhaust. And I understood that uh, it has to do with the porting. And uh, that level of porting, it requires an expansion chamber to run efficiently. With the stock exhaust, uh, the bottom end is better. Uh, the low end torque is slightly better than with the expansion chamber. But the top end is like almost missing. It's not that much, you know, it can do 100 maybe at the top, but that's about it. It can't do anything more. So uh, that's there. If you run a 1634, uh, that's an RX 135 four speed uh, sprocketing, 16 teeth at the front and 34 teeth at the back, you guys can extract uh, better top speed on each gear. So that means uh, the ultimate, the top gear top speed is also a lot better with the 1634 uh, sprocketing. But beware that uh, city riding will be slightly more of a hindrance because uh, while your top end increases, your acceleration actually goes down. So that is there. I think this is the beauty of RX, it can just filter through man, it just absolutely filter through anything. <laughs> it's barely uh, maybe 105, 110 kilos of weight, so it's uh, bloody brilliant and I don't think there are uh, motorcycles today, uh, the same uh, 100 or 200 cc category that can you know match the kind of filtering capacity capability of uh, any RX motorcycle that we've seen uh, back in the 80s and 90s. Yep, that's a reflection, hope you guys can see me there. 
anyways uh, that's there and uh, that you guys can do the, the sprocketing 1634 sprocketing you guys can do for a better top end on each gear uh, but this 1537 is a lot of fun you guys can even uh, try 1539 uh, the one that comes on the five speed i'm not sure if the rear sprocketing is 38 or 39 i am i think it is 39 but i'm really not sure could be 38 but uh, that's even more shorter in terms of ratios so that will get you even better acceleration but lower top speed on each gear that is there and uh, yeah if you guys have watched the build video i have i was previously running a mikuni tm24 flashlight carburetor and uh, a lead ignition kit that was a dynamically adjustable uh, kit with a very lightweight rotor it was actually performing okay but i was never really able to get it run right i had some misfires here and there the headlight was amazing but that's about it um, it just could never perform well uh, on this motorcycle this was way before i uh, even had this uh, expansion chamber oh coming to the expansion chamber i have to thank a dear friend uh, mr vinod from bombay for getting me this expansion chamber and it's been performing <laughs> quite amazing with the chamber and i think uh, the chamber complements whatever work has been done all around this uh, engine in terms of gearbox i'm running an rx king gearbox so the first two gears are shorter So as you guys can see that the first two gears are shorter on the RX King gearbox compared to the Indian 5-speed gearbox. So that's what I'm running. There are a couple of minor issues with the gearbox. I'm sometimes facing uh, false neutrals on the when I'm downshifting from third to second gear sometimes. So that is there and I'm facing some false neutrals when I'm uh, shifting from fourth to fifth gear. That is also there, unfortunately. So uh, I did try things that I could do but uh, not, nothing fixed it so I guess I have to uh, give up and replace the gearbox so I'll probably do that I guess this mirror broke from the sheer vibrations present on our roads this randomly broke man <laughs> I have to replace but I've been lazy ever since I've been enjoying the motorcycle so much actually but this is after a lot of trouble and I also got my FC done but due to the process I had to get the motorcycle looking back almost like stock so from the cockpit you guys can see that the mirrors have been changed back to the stock RX type the round ones I've changed back to the mechanical tachometer present on the RXZ. So you got the pilot lamp in the middle, you got the normal speedometer on the left. Briefly switched back to the stock exhaust so that I can pass FC and faced many, many small, small problems that I would like to list it out later. But there were many major issues also. But I'm happy that the motorcycle is running right now. One thing I have to appreciate, uh, you know, this Chennai Metro Rail. Whoa, whoa, whoa is the fact that uh, you know they provide a lot of tunnel you know a lot of uh, shade from the uh, extremely difficult sunlight sometimes chennai becomes like uh, an entire barbecue during the summer and it's only february man i mean it's only like five six days inside february and it's already feeling extremely hot Oh my god, that's a beautiful uh, cast in there. Wait, let me try and catch up to him. Ah, oh wow. Absolutely beautiful. Sir, 
செம்மையா இருக்கு செம்மையா செம்மையா இருக்கு சார் பியூட்டிஃபுல் Yeah, man, that was a beautiful uh, bullet 350 and the car stands man it just sounds so good you know there's no denying that <laughs> i had an opportunity of uh, uh, riding a bullet that was a 1970 bullet so very damn old motorcycle it's older than my dad actually <laughs> my dad was born in 1972 and that bike was around from 1970 <laughs> so i had the pleasure of uh, getting to drive that and i was uh, oh my god that was an amazing motorcycle you know uh, the 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 fact that uh, the gearbox see that that's a yeah that's a false neutral there and uh, yeah regarding the bullet uh, especially that car stand the 1970 model the gearbox is on the right side well the brake is on the left side <laughs> so that played with my brain for a long time actually it took me a solid half an hour to get adjusted to but i didn't want to get adjusted further because i'm getting back on this motorcycle uh, so didn't really have it for a long time but my god the, the every second you know i still remember each minute that i rode the bullet 350 and i was uh, just i just fell in love man that motorcycle was just something else you know it was awesome fourth to fifth yeah unfortunately i uh, couldn't really fix this gearbox i tried uh, replacing the uh, say the, the selector shafts you know the three selectors all three of them i tried replacing them with new ones but you know nothing really worked so i still have the same issue unfortunately yeah there i have so i still have the same issue i have to replace the gearbox also the bike is a lot quieter when the the throttle is closed and when it's moving <laughs> i find that interesting and the chamber trust me man it's uh, it's one it's an eye catcher <laughs> another two is that uh, you know it attracts a lot of people way too many people um. That's a Ninja 300, I guess. this how you turn man my god some people don't deserve license some people don't really deserve driving licenses man trust me oh god So with the chamber, <laughs> you can't ride like, I mean, you can't ride very soft and you know, without the care like this. You can't, you can't ride it like a bullet. You get what I mean? 
you have to really ring it you know you have to ring the turtle to get it uh, come to the power band and you know really enjoy the motorcycle so that is there i mean the, <laughs> there is no negotiating there <laughs> this is not the case with the stock exhaust actually so the stock exhaust even the uh, stock 5 speed or even the stock 4 speed i think you can really enjoy the ride i mean you don't need to uh, really ring the throttle you don't need to go to up and all the time you can really just sit at 60 70 km per hour and just simply enjoy the feel enjoy the ride mahindra rodeo it's been a long time since i spotted one of these very few people use indicators here so it's a little difficult little risky to drive inside chennai so that's about it for today guys i am really sorry for my uh, very very long absence but i wish to do more but my work isn't really allowing me but whenever i get time i'll definitely do something out for you guys i also hope that this video gives you context perspective on how a sleeved bore if it is done properly if the ports are done properly if the castings everything match nicely can perform as good if not better than a stock like original factory sleeve or an unsleeved cylinder so yeah this is a very high duration build uh, in the sense it's tuned for top end and i've geared it in such a way that it reaches the rpm the higher rpm very as soon as possible and it's also possible for you guys to do a, like a stock sleeve job like that means all the ports exactly match as per the factory spec there's no performance modifications or anything of that sort they'll do the sleeve and you'll get back to the standard size so you'll get the best possible balance between performance and mileage so now that i've had a lot of fun with this setup uh, for over a year almost 2 years now i'll be switching back to the stock 4 speed setup for the top end so that means the head the carburetor and my block will be 4 speed and it will be again a sleeve job but without the extra porting and stuff Ah, how can it go under? Wow, it's been a million years since I saw one. <laughs> and then there's a Skoda AT. This is a Delhi registration, I guess. Poor thing, can't drive it there. So I mean, he can at least drive it here. Probably the car is uh, what nearing 15 years now, right? Oh man, Delhi and their stupid rules. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I know the video ended a long time ago, and if you're still here, thank you so much. I'm guessing that you enjoyed the visuals and the sound of the motorcycle. So again thank you very much keep the blue smoke alive brighty pecker signing off have a wonderful day